And still ahead, 120,000 nerds are on the floor here. That does include me. I'm Dave Belkoff at the Lionsgate booth here at Comic-Con 2011. We will show you around coming up. All right, it is time to get your geek on. Comic-Con is invading Southern California, and our own geek expert, Dave Malkoff, is here with what you can expect at this year's Pop Culture Fest. You guys, it's amazing to think Comic-Con started in a hotel basement back in 1970. Now it's 2011. We got 120,000 people here. This may be the only place you'll see Superman, Batman, this dude, sheriff's deputies harassing supervillain Catwoman, as they should be. But Comic-Con is also about standing at the end of the line for hours. Star Wars fans are lining up for a preview of the newly remastered saga on Blu-ray September 16th. 40 hours of special features, Dolby DTS, 6.1 audio. You bought it on VHS, you bought it on yes. DVD, and now you have to buy it again. Yes, I don't care. So we found comic book artist Ken Lashley using this 2012 VW Passat as his Star Wars canvas. Mom would not approve. All those years where she tell me, don't draw on the wall and don't draw on this thing. Look how, look how it's paid out for me, right? It's been a long time since I've been on the school bus. Grand Pacific Charter has this big yellow bus that takes you where? Literally, to South Park. You can uh, get your face painted. I'm Mitch Kearney. Come down to Comic-Con, visit the South Park booth, you guys, seriously. Even if you don't have a badge, South Park's open to anyone who shows up. Of course, with the Book of Mormon, South Park creators Matt Stone and Trey Parker are Broadway stars now, but their heart is still in this Toontown. Matt and Trey went on about how South Park is their baby, they love doing it, and they're signed on for a bunch more years. <laughs> guess who else is coming back this fall? Yep, Mike Judge's Beavis and Butthead. What was it like to see those jokes play in front of the audience? Boy, that was great. I mean, and maybe it was a loaded audience, but <laughs> this was a great feeling. MTV actually came to me, wanted to do more, and King of the Hill was done, and I just thought, you know, who am I to turn this down? I really love these. I really love doing it. I mean, that's a short answer. And Comic-Con continues throughout the weekend. We got Rich DeMiro here in the morning. I'll be back with you at 10 o'clock. We also have lots of pictures posted at ktla.com slash Dave. From Comic-Con 2011, I'm Dave Malkoff, KTLA 5 News. Malkoff is so happy there. He loves it. <laughs> he sure yeah. does. That's his home away from home. <laughs> Every year. We're going to have... Here's a good Comic-Con game you can play here on the floor. How many of these characters can you correctly identify? That's an easy one. Chewy. Okay, I, I got to ask you this. As a child of the 80s, how many people come up to you and incorrectly identify you as She-Ra? Uh, I'd say probably 50% of the people that say hi to me. She is Tila. I am the captain of Adam's Guard, or the best friend of He-Man. On the planet of Eternia. That is 100% correct. Thank you for knowing. Okay, I got that one. Sometimes it's fun also to ask the experts down here. He's who? The, the boss. Good job. There are a ton of kids who come to Comic-Con every year. Check out this huge pile of Legos. Who wouldn't want that? Contrary to what you would think, the Princess Leias aren't the only women here either. I'm Paige. I'm Hi. Ashley. I'm Taylor. Hannah. More guys are actually here because more guys are into gaming and stuff like that, but us girls love it. Yeah. <laughs> Conan comes out late. August 19th. August 19th. From San Diego, I'm Dave Malkoff, KTLA 5 News. Back to you guys in the studio.